Well, with the stroke of a pen, President Donald Trump has revived both the Dakota Access Pipeline and Keystone XL Pipeline projects. The controversial move has environmentalists crying foul, and Native groups are saying his executive order on the Dakota Access Pipeline is illegal. RT's Alex Mihailovich is following the story for us in Toronto. And Alex, let's start with the Dakota Access Pipeline project. At the end of last year, it looked like the Native groups and their supporters, they won the battle to stop the pipeline from being built. Now it's in the courts. Now this executive order, what's the latest? Well, look, you know, Trump is uh, sort of playing a Dr. Frankenstein here, bringing these things back to life. And when it comes to the Dakota Access Pipeline, we know what the tension that was there at the end of last year. We know how many thousands of people were against that pipeline being built. We also know that the U.S. Army Corps nixed the project, and there was jubilation over that, of a celebration, and, and we thought that this thing was over. But, you know what, a lot of people, a thousand of them, uh, decided, you know, we better stick around because Trump's going to be the new president and things might change. And that's exactly Exactly what went down. So uh, here's a quote from uh, from the Dakota tribe, uh, straight out of their mouths. It's Dave Archambault II. He's a chairman of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe, I should say. By granting the easement, Trump is risking our treaty rights and water supply to benefit his wealthy contributors and friends at at the Dakota Access Pipeline. We are not opposed to energy independence. We are opposed to reckless and politically motivated development projects like the Dakota Access Pipeline that ignores our treaty rights and risks our water, creating a second flint does not make America great again. And there's the big threat, and that's what a lot of people are saying. Well, there's 17,000 people down river from there. Uh, we're looking at a situation where water can be poisoned. We don't want to see another Flint. And uh, lawsuits are definitely going to uh, be pumped up here. Uh, we know that uh, the Sioux tribe is talking about that. We know that there are many people that are saying this, that this is illegal, especially when you're looking at uh, the, the agreements that are made or have been made with the tribes with, uh, between the U.S. government and the tribes of that area. And things will step up, and they're ready to do uh, just that. Uh, this guy, the coolest name in the world, Chase Iron Eyes, he's the lawyer for the Sioux tribe there. Here's what he had to say. Yes, those of us on the ground who number about a 1,000 maybe uh, are 100% committed to risking life, uh, liberty, limb, and our pursuit of happiness to protect a people's right, indeed Americans' rights to clean drinking water, to keep that free from privatization, to assert our international identity as native nations, indeed to protect the constitutional rights of all Americans and to have a very serious real-time discussion about who can declare who a patriot, who can say who is a traitor or a terrorist, Dakota Access Pipeline is obviously a much bigger story than just the Native communities. We know that people from all around the U.S. and even from outside of the U.S. were there protesting uh, when it, just a, a month or so ago before you know things seemed that they went in the right direction. And now with Trump doing this, it's, it's a dangerous move, what many people think is a dangerous move, because not only will you see the protesters come back, it's the middle of winter, and uh, we saw what happened with frostbite and other, other situations where people were being actually hurt there. Uh, this is just going to ramp that all up. But hopefully it ends up in a, in a peaceful manner, maybe going through the courts instead of seeing the type of violence that we've seen in the past. All right, Alex, we got about a minute to address the other pipeline, Keystone XL pipeline, that's going to move oil from the Alberta tar sands to Texas refineries. We're seeing a lot of mixed emotions. What are people in Canada saying? Well, of course, environmentalists and people that were on that side, and also native groups in Canada, were against the Keystone XL pipeline. President Obama nixed that project back in 2015. Uh, Canada was prepared to go without. Now, seeing that uh, Trump is saying yes, well, the Canadian government's very happy about that. The Alberta government's very happy about it. They say 4,800 jobs for Canada, 28,000 construction jobs in the States. So uh, from that perspective, from uh, the oil companies and from those that believe that economy and a couple of bucks in the pocket is better than health, Health. They're saying that, you know, this is the way to go. Uh, the Canadian government seems to be very pleased with Trump's decision. All right. RT correspondent Alex Mihailovich, thank you for that.